Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Victory at Sea Pacific episode number 33 or so. So off camera I was actually looking around at my fleets and I made a, a nice little discovery. Who knows maybe this is something which has been patched. We know that as things are getting patched um, the game is improving basically. So what I noticed is a lot of my people were on even crew distribution and I noticed that the advanced radar if you do that suffers, which is probably one of the most important things besides the movement stuff when you're just moving around. So what I noticed is when you have the smiley face on, advanced radar is actually completely fully operated, which is what I want. So I went around to everyone, I think, actually that's not true, there's probably some people here who I didn't get to, and I, you know what, I could have just gotten to them all from here. Uh, I don't want defense forces, I don't want convoys, but like SAGs. So all these guys should now, except for the submarines. The submarines I manually manipulated to get a positive. So like, you don't need anybody on the bridge. You don't need anybody in engineering. I'm gonna put one because I think this guy's the one near port. Yeah, this one's at the one, the one on Marshall Islands. I don't know if engineers are needed to like <laughs> load stuff or whatever. But anyways, his morale is really low, so I want to try to trim out any of the fat. And I think that that is exactly what I want. Yeah. So. Who knows if that one engineer is going to make a difference, maybe I could pull him off as well, but this is slightly better. So I just was going through everyone and okay, make sure that they're all... Oh my gosh, no, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> I don't want to, I just want to drag this faster. Like this is a scr I don't know if you can hear it. It's like, you know, 30 lines of scrolling to move. We're not even moving 30 pixels. I don't know how that makes sense. We must be moving 30. It's like one scroll is one pixel. A little bit, <laughs> a little bit agitating. Anyway, uh, we know that the game will be fixed, right? Oh, <gasps> the drum has been set to happy face mode, which is not what she wants to do. So we'll get her to be what we want her to do, which is engines, fire control, no. Fuel system, yes. Um, I think that rations are the limiting factor for the submarines when they're out. At least that's what I keep getting reminded. So which is the main thing for me is not yeah, radar is the making sure the radar is way up there and getting as much speed as we can because they're pretty slow. So this is good. We're getting a little bit of morale. We're not losing morale at least anymore. And that's a lot better. So I don't know how sub one snuck through my where is sub one? Huh. I don't know. And where where actually are they? Okay over there. Good, so uh, what's the other stuff? We have SAG, first SAG, Surface Action Group, and CTF Bravo move in, converging on Truck Lagoon. So we'll very soon, I think we're almost in range, almost, uh, we're very soon actually gonna spot it and see what we see. Uh, in the meantime, we'll have some action with Task Force 22, the ever busy Task Force 22, chasing down this last destroyer. Uh, and we had a really good effort from Caledonia, New Caledonia, contributing to the war at last, right? Uh, somebody mentioned, uh, gosh, Daniel. Daniel's been very helpful, so just uh, a big thank you to him overall. That as soon as Task Force 32? Yeah, as soon as Task Force 32 left, these things stopped being repaired. So none of these things are being repaired now that we've left port. So this is good to know in that you know what, I'm just going to finish repairing here. So there, there's the repair thing. They don't get repaired, so we'll have to wait for the repairs to happen this way. So that's okay, I mean, we can we can handle that. Having repair uh, repairs only happen at ports, it makes sense. I'm really behind this. I, you know, the game, I just really like the fact that the game is slowly improving. But they must have really increased the repair times and I'm a big fan of that as well. I mean, I know an aircraft would not take like a day or two to repair. It probably takes maybe, well, I'm not even gonna hazard a guess. <laughs> I would say more like a week, to maybe two weeks. But you could probably do some emergency patch job, but I'm saying, uh, you know, if you need to do some real work, I mean, the engine has some part that needs replacing or whatever, I don't know. Look at, I'm, I'm actually just talking, I'm making an, Uneducated, uneducated guess <laughs> is what I would say I'm doing. 
So who knows how long these things were fixed in real life, uh, how long it took them to, to get these things done, but uh, anyways, let's move up on speed. Boy, the series is just blown by though. I just keep reflecting on the fact that because the game kept getting better and better, I was I felt really compelled to keep doing more and more episodes and yeah, here we are. So what I'm my hope right now is that we can use the alert. We don't have to mess with the the fleet stuff. What we will have to do is just toggle on and off the um, battle stations, and hopefully this will make everything smooth from the fleet standpoint. And I'm it's funny because I didn't ever really utilize this functionality, but maybe this was even the intention of the developer from the beginning, is that we should be doing um, whatever, setting our, our fleet status in the fleet panel, and then only from there, uh, when we get into battle, only from the main screen changing anything. Okay, sub five is... Marshall Islands, they were just collecting some more torpedoes. We have four and two. Not a whole lot, but probably enough to get going. I mean, as soon as truck is ours, I want to kind of control this. I mean, okay, so what's the big plan? Because that's what everyone wants to know, right? What are we going to be doing? And I think I kind of have a new strategy, and that is to sever the head. So I think I wrote this in a comment somewhere, but my new strategy is sever the head. I don't know where the, um, I don't know where Japan generates supply from. So we generate it from the west coast. We generate it from San Diego. I believe that these are just automatically supplied or given supplies. Maybe any major port generates its own supplies. I don't know. I really, okay, so we'll, we'll enter this combat. I really don't know and I, I wish I did because this would be helpful for planning out how you should play the game. But I'm guessing that the, only the main islands for Japan um, gain supply. And if that's the case, what we want to do is... Uh, okay, that's a spotter. That's okay. What the heck? Okay, well, it's the opposite of what I wanted. <laughs> Okay, let's just do it this way. Let's just, I think that if we give an attack order to, well, you guys are dead stopped in the water. Why are you dead stopped in the water? Why would you do that? So let me give an attack order to Indy and to the Portland and get the other guys out of the way, basically. Just turn this way. You just, McCall, just move forward a little bit. And that means that they should just successfully not be part of the action here move here. I'll probably just move them manually, but with the Portland and the Indy, this should be over pretty quickly. Because it's only one destroyer, if our report is correct. It's kind of cool, you can see the spotting distance. Should, wait, no, that's not spotting distance. We should be able to see the fleet by now. So our spotting that bad? Are we on battle stations? We are not. So let's go ahead and... Oh, we can't do it this way. Okay, so let's... Man battle stations... Oh, is it... Does it work for the whole fleet? It does. Well, that's really nice. Even better. I don't want to be hit by torpedoes, so we're kind of sending these guys two different ways. We have another Kingfisher mating group. Where are you? There they are. Oh. Oh. There it is. Okay. Great. Hooray. Everyone reform. Let's give them just a general move eastward command and let them form up. And then we'll just. Uh, go back to the world map. I think that they should be okay. Okay, good. So now we want these guys to move back to Tulagi. I guess we might as well try to get some, uh, pick up some shells. We have launched a few. I mean, it's just right on our way where we want to go. And now we're going to go over and harass these islands. Now, what, so what I'm thinking is, 
Minor port, minor port, minor port. That's a British, though. Basic port and basic port. What I want to do is starve these islands. I want to suck all these... I mean, I want to suck up all the transports which are headed down south and keep eliminating them. I want to kind of force the... I basically want to turn the economic knob. I want to play with putting economic pressure on the Japanese navy. So hopefully they can't supply themselves and there we just kind of win by default. Seems like a really smart, like, okay. It goes back to this idea of whether you want to fight, just go in and brawl and just like walk up square shoulders and start punching, or if you want to box, jab and play cleverly. So I want to play a little bit more clever. So what I want to do is sever the head of the snake, which means control this Okinawa Iwo Jima Avenue. And Okinawa is basic port. I mean, this might be difficult to take if they they might have put some like really big supplies on it to keep it like historically accurate as a difficult a difficult place to invade. But if we can just control this, basically, if we can control the Philippine Sea, we can control any of the convoys going to New Guinea. So my new idea is forget about New Guinea, <laughs> don't take it. Let the just force the Japanese into a really precarious position. Then if I keep my carriers in this area, it's obvious where the Japanese have to go. Yeah, they can go up here, but what is that going to benefit them? They're going to lose all of New Guinea, or they're not going to have their supply transports going in. So I just feel like it's a, a clever... It's not that clever, it's maybe just really obvious. Although the United States historically did not do this. It's kind of a slow push, but I believe the focus was to protect Australia from invasion. So it might have been a more of a defensive effort, and we're... I'm basically not concerned with Australia at all. So we'll be kind of letting Australia do their own thing. And in the meantime, we're going to go, as I call it, I call it sever the head of the snake, because call Japan the head of the snake. What we could do is kind of nip at the tail and work our way up. Oop, got a task force 32 at Pearl Harbor. Okay, so she's done. <gasps> it gives us an alert when all the aircraft are repaired. That is really nice. See, look at this game. Look at this game doing good work. Let's advance you to Marshall Islands. I don't even want you to repair there. I just want you to go station yourself there and let's see how I actually need you to react. I may even want you to go to make an atoll. Which one of these has more supplies? Actually, Terawa does. So I might want you to head down here just in case we encounter any other um, convoy raiders. Oh, you guys can go. Let's have you go deploy at Terawa. Where are these guys going? I wonder where they're going, because it looks like they're going to make an atoll. I really want these guys to go to Marshall Island, but it seems a, like a bit of a long shot at this point. Yeah, let's just get their supplies to Terawa, wherever we can. Just, actually, wherever we can, let's be better given to Guadalcanal. Or Tulagi, I don't really know which, but... Okay, good, and what do we have? Uh, let's just remind me, but also remind everyone. Who do we have building? Okay, so in within 60 days, we need to account for like 315 war bonds to upgrade our Yorktowns. Three of them building, that's great. CTF Able claims to be ready to, to undock. That means their airplanes are ready. Ah, this is wonderful. Let's pause here real fast and just, just make sure everything's set. So we are going with, one of them is gonna go 6-4, Four and six, four bombers, six fighters, and Saratoga, I believe, is going five and five, and they are. So this uh, this carrier task force, a little bit less capable of defending itself um, against other carriers because it doesn't have quite the the airplane count, but it's a pretty fast, and therefore I would I, I really like its capability. So let's send this to Iwo Jima. Also, by the way, historically not a very easy place. I mean, Iwo Jima was late in the war. We did we, you know, actually get it? We as in I should be saying the United States. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, unpause. But I'm oh what? Oh wait, whoa 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 whoa. All right. Well, that's that's a that's a big fleet. 
Okay, well, let's go ahead and begin strikes. I want a lot of these strikes to come from Midway, which, yeah, is pretty well supplied. Oh, wow, they're actually in range of everything. So we'll just launch everything. And do we even want to send CTF Able that way? Frankly, I'd like to weaken them with the Midway forces first. And let's turn off their launching of combat aircraft. I want to... Ah, no, the spotters are really the most important thing, so I'm going to leave five spotters up. I mean, I'm guessing that we spotted these guys from this. And is this a Catalina? Well, they're all Catalinas, so the answer is yes. I like the Catalinas versus the Kingfishers. Um, in more isolated locations like Midway, we actually do want them to have greater reach. Something like Johnson Island might benefit more from Spotter Islands. Marshall Islands might benefit more from, sorry, from Kingfishers. Uh, Wake Island might be another one with the Catalinas eventually. Well, who knows. Is this the one that we've already spotted? Yes, it is. Okay, so I don't know what that was. Radar that spotted it first or what? So you have bombers in range. We're going to hedge our bets here. We're going to move a little bit north by, I mean, uh, west by northwest. So that we're kind of in range. We can always go back and reload our aircraft should things go poorly here. Did we end up getting Task Force 32 completely kitted out? Hell Divers, Hell Divers, Hell Divers, and then Hell Cats. Yes. So the answer is yes. It's completely kitted out. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, these Yorktowns are great. Six and six is just a great. <laughs> Like having 12, and we should be launching no more. Um, I think Daniel also made this comment that he observed that formations of having of more than three flights seem to be uh, susceptible to the formation problems we experienced. If it wasn't last episode, it was two episodes ago. And are we yet in range for scouting? We are. That is exciting. I want to scout with my wildcats, though. So I'm going to wait to close a little bit more. Just in case they get shot down, actually the wildcats are more expendable. Even though, like, a, if I was to be a little bit more conservative, I would probably want to send my bombers because they're an offensive weapon, not a defensive weapon. But yeah, so I don't think we're going to do that. Okay, let's speed it back up. And really, what we're waiting to do is see what happens here. And it looks like the I, I'm. I've heard a report, although I don't know myself, that the AAA, or the AA, I don't know why I was, I just, AAA rolls off the tongue easier, but the anti-aircraft guns have been reduced in the tactical screen. I'm, that's what I've been told. We'll have an opportunity to see that at some point, but I'm not sure if I'm going to look at it. Remember, I kind of want to look at it when the Dauntless, yeah, let's, let's look at it for the Dauntless. I have no idea what these ships are going to bomb. They're probably going to miss. Um, I kind of want to take control and do the bombing mission myself for at least one of these. The reason being is, even if we hit, we're, this thing is basically guaranteed to die. It doesn't have any aircraft capability. Midway itself has the heavy guns, the 5 inch turret, 15 inch turrets or whatever. Um, but that's so, it's just, this is like a waste of time. In the sense that these guys are walking dead anyway. So let's let's have a little fun. Let me have some fun. Unfortunately, let's hope these guys don't go to the bottom of the please 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 please. I think that they're okay. There we go. Good. Good. So these guys are given the attack order. Let's give them the movement order just to make sure that they're still gonna do their thing. And I'm going to control this guy. So we'll get these two to just do bombing runs, and they'll fail, most likely. Boy, we probably don't need this much altitude. We're going to bring it down to 4,000. Uh, four, okay, let's, let's actually bring the AI's altitude down a little bit. Hopefully that increases their chances to hit. I feel like 4,000 meters is plenty of height to avoid being targeted. We'll find out. I mean, hey, if we lose one, that's that's my fault. But I don't think we will at 4,000. So, here we go. I can probably give individual orders to these guys as well, but 
you are the one I will drop bombs for manually. I'm assuming nothing else is going to happen while we're doing this, but... Oh, we should get a report. But it does go to show you, if you're paying attention and looking around the screen, you can actually detect these fleets before the game notifies you. It might wait, what, to the end of the hour or something to notify you? I don't know exactly. Here we go. B, I think this is sensible to have a flight of B-24s bombing, because then, you know, if one misses, maybe the other one hits. Getting pretty close. Okay, there we go. Let's give the orders now. All right, cruisers are good targets, but we're looking for... You know what? Let's just have this uh, first plane attack that. I'm going to go for a battle cruiser. I have to. It's in my blood. All right, so this one will go for the Congo. And that means I am going for whatever is not the Congo, which is the Haruna. All right, steady as she goes. This should be a pretty straightforward bombing mission, as in we're right or I mean, this is a beautiful fleet to look at, though. The circle formation does work pretty well. I mean, as in, it's picturesque. Following my self-imposed guidelines, try to move at 1x speed. Um, need, there. I need the ability to drop bombs. I think control click does it, but you have to like, I don't know, it's kind of finicky. So we'll do it this way instead. And lining up parallel to their core, I mean, the best would be to be traveling with them in the same direction. But I'm not going to be that. Oh my god, they're going to drop around on top of my head. Oh, oh, that didn't. Well, they're behind me, so it definitely won't hit. Yeah, it looks good. All right, and go back. Let's watch the bombs fall. First line of bombs, could be good. No, not not anywhere near good. <laughs> oh, or just kidding. <laughs> okay, I'm not, uh, I'm not sure exactly what happened there. Second one looks good, uh, it looks, no, it looks better though. Hits, yeah. Definitely. And then mine. Taco is trying to come in and take the damage. Oh, this one looks good. Oh my gosh. Perfect drop. <laughs> Just a perfect drop. The Haruna. I mean, this is very impressive that we had three for three hitting. I would say unrealistic. But you live and learn. I didn't realize that the, they would be that a accurate. All right, our Dauntlesses are coming in. They're going to have some fun as well. Uh, I don't know why they're not increasing altitude. Let's give them an order to increase to 3,500. Um, we'll run over and give them a movement order just beyond. We should be able to sink something, but I imagine that we're also going to take... Mm, that's interesting. I don't know what the other gray lines were. We'll probably also take some damage here. These two might be lost in the process. So let's take a look. At, let's pause real fast and just take a look at the damage. So I even forget what class of cruiser this was, but she is going down. A light cruiser, but one down. And it is the lead escort, so they might have to like stop while they configure their formation now again. And the Otago, that's a nice heavy cruiser, I believe. Congo took a little bit, a few hits, and what else? We have, oh yeah, the Haruna's almost down for the count. I would really like it, I still would really like it if ships had to really limp after they were injured. But I, I haven't really seen that. So anyway, we'll go back and now we'll go with the dive bombers. 
just assuming that if some I mean honestly I should be at this point deploying my scouts to ah okay let's view this on map <gasps> perfect <laughs> all right let's enter this combat <laughs> all right it whatever else is less important now start the battle We need to know which way we need to go before we engage them. I don't know where exactly they are. So let's just give the orders to the Dauntlesses to bomb. No, just do this. Yeah. Just gonna give that order manually. My B-24 disappeared. Okay, well it's not on the screen, but hopefully it's you know doing its thing still. Yeah, it's it's here. It's going back, but it, it glitched. That's fine. It did its job. So hopefully they'll just choose a, appropriate targets. I kind of wanted to see the AA. That's that's right. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, while I'm on this view, let's go ahead and send a pair. Let's why not send a pair of wildcats out? You know what? We're really at the cusp. We'll wait a little bit longer. That's actually good. I'm glad that. And this is perfect, by the way. Oh, I just I love the fact that we're <laughs> able to engage. So we want to go to battle stations probably pretty soon. So they're down to three of four cruisers, eight destroyers, two battle cruisers still. But yeah, they've taken a lot of damage to those battle cruisers. I guess this is the battle I need to pay attention to the most right now. So I wish these spotters were actually available. I would get them to it's the mating season again. Good graphics though. I mean the models are really nice looking. They've done a very good job with that. You see son, when a kingfisher loves another kingfisher. Hmm. Can't, I can never get that reference that <laughs> joke out of my head. <laughs> Onward to this fleet. And that's the only fleet we see, right? Because we might, if we're accident, <laughs> we could accidentally be pursuing not the right fleet. <laughs> I guess they're not in visual range yet. Two hundred war bonds, so we did get some. Some, uh, I wouldn't say much needed. We're in pretty good shape right now, but some definitely much appreciated money for sinking that. And that whole fleet is going to be just a cash cow. I'm completely okay with you not being able to fire yet. Which way are they going? Radar would tell me, right? Might be headed this way-ish. I want to know which way they're going so that I can begin to plot my intercept. I mean, if I was playing Silent Hunter, if I was actually trying to do this realistically, when you get a radar hit, you start marking it. And then you mark where it is again. And then you mark where it is again. And then you look at where their course is and you plot an, a, like an intercept position. You line yourself up. You get ready. They move in, you are dead stopped at that point, or, well, you're not dead stopped, but you're moving slowly, you're submerged, you know, you're at like two knots. Uh, you line up the shot, there it is. You line up the shot, you fire, they never even know you were there. It's not how it's done in this game, but, you know, okay, so good, we at least know where they are. Our king of fishers have spotted them. Um, let's go to periscope depth, I think we can go to periscope depth, are they, what's their angle? Angle is this? No, their angle is this. So they're going this way. They're going. So they're going this way. Right? Okay, they're going. Yeah, I'm due south of them, and they're going almost southeast. Almost exactly southeast. Alright, let's go back to me. That means I should plot a course pretty much directly east. 
And if I'm submerged, I may still somehow be able to get to them in time. Let's do it. Submerge so we're not spotted. And don't need to do create smoke. No, none, none of those are good options, <laughs> I'm afraid. Good, so we'll line that up. I'll let those guys continue to advance. Let's see if we have time to go in and see the Dauntlesses in action. All right, well, I'm not really sure about the reduction of AA. We didn't get anything done, we just died. <laughs> not, not what I was looking for. Definitely not what I was hoping. All right, well, I'll, I'll eyes on the sub then. We'll do a little task, um, sorry, convoy hunting. Well, I believe that these Dauntlesses are, I mean, frankly, I would call them not useful. So we'll probably replace them with the more useful aircraft, which at this point is the B-24. I might keep them in storage because it is nice to have them in a pinch if I control them manually. Hopefully they wouldn't all die. And I probably want, I mean, look, this is expensive to do. It's going to be so expensive to maintain any aircraft reserves. Almost not, almost not worth it. All right, we're going to get rid of those Dauntlesses, though. They did not perform well. So maybe this means that we do have to use our... Okay, well, we're going to use our Carrier Task Force because it does. They, they are replaceable. Here we go. One, two, three. Launch, Saratoga. Oh, that was a Saratoga. No, it wasn't. What the hell? No. One, two, three. Launch. And one, two, three. Launch. And, I don't know why it's not reporting that. There they are. And then, one, two, three. Launch. I hope that goes well. And now CTFA will probably gonna lose some of these fighters. We'll have to immediately replenish at midway again. But hey, we're, we're doing two good things. We're knocking out the enemy fleet and we're gaining war bonds. So. Well, we won't worry about it too much. Just seems like good, all good things. Airfield's still very damaged at Marshall Island. High priority. Let's take a look at our priorities, which I should have been doing off camera. I don't think that anybody here needs to be anything. Oh, these guys are actually a nun. Probably one of them should should not be a nun, but we're manually refueling or re or dumping supplies manually. Let's turn Johnson Island to well, that's not actually that much, so we'll leave them there. Frankly, I'm gonna leave Midway at mid because they they actually need it. They're they're using it. They're very very active. <laughs> so. Continue forward. Oh, yeah, we have to watch out for this fleet. Uh, we launched in that. We gave attack orders. We did. So we can just let them do their thing and see what happens. So maybe they upgraded the effectiveness of AA on the main screen. Maybe that's what happened. Because that was... I mean, they didn't... Apparently, either they missed with everything, which is... Or they were actually shot down on their way in, which is means that it's even worse than it was before. <laughs> At least you could get to the target with their dive bombers. At least I was able to before. I mean, you just approach from 3500 and usually you're okay. All right, let's see how the sub's doing. Making her way steadily. Yeah, I think we're doing well here. This is going to be a good... We might even be approaching a little bit too late in their course, although, you know, it's better to err on that side, but we can just look at them, can't we? Visibility might be decreased because we're using a periscope, it might be decreased because we're at night. I 
of like this though. It feels nice to putter along with the with the submarine. And we should probably be checking on our f dive bombers as well. So we'll get these guys to move like this way. The level bombers are coming back. I don't know if these will be automatically repaired. Let's leave them as just a test, because we know that in the meantime, we're repairing new ones in the hangar. The Atlanta is supposed to what? Pair up with the Northamptons? I did want somebody to go north and take Com Commodorsky back. No, I'm not sure who that would be. Um, okay. Oh, everything looks pretty good. These guys are within range now. I think I will launch this. So Enterprise herself will launch... Wait, who has more? Okay, you have more, so we'll launch two of yours. I, that was pretty dangerous for me to do enter combat. I think it has a chance of teleporting everyone. Okay, we can actually see ships now. That's an interesting... <laughs> I don't think we're actually moving, but it's giving us the... It's, it's almost making me nauseous. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah, she's very close. So that was obviously not... Something was a little bit weird there. So I think our original course was correct. Like they are pretty far away still. We might have to surface just to catch them. What would the range be, I even wonder? Or can we catch some of the stragglers? Like, this is not Silent Hunter. <laughs> I'm not doing the Silent Hunter thing. Normally you would just retreat back, run parallel to them on the surface about you know, like 10, 15 kilometers away so they can't see you. And then get way ahead of them, come pull back into their line. Assuming that they don't make any big course correction, you find them, you make intermediate, like uh, really minor changes as they approach submerged. Oh, sorry about that. I was interrupted by family affairs and now we have surfaced the Kitaro. Uh, I don't even know Okay, so, uh, kind of lost my train of thought. I'm getting to the surface because I don't think we're going to be able to make it. We're going to move very quickly forward and then back under the waters. They don't really react to, I mean, I mean, this is, I think what I was saying a lot is how this would be much more exciting if it was Silent Hunter. Um, it's almost time, I imagine it's almost time to, and battle stations. I'm assuming that they're using three inch guns as well, so. Just, uh, no, no. Oh my god, they're, wow, they are not. They are engaging. All right, under we go. Hooray. Aha, impervious. I'm impervious to your silly shells. So let's see what they're going to do now. They know I'm here. What are they, oh my god, they're just coming right at me. Well, that's. This is an unexpected turn of events. <laughs> okay, but I'm I'm okay with it, mind you. It's gonna make my job a little bit easier. Yes. Oil tankers, yes. I don't know I haven't played as the Japanese. I'm gonna assume that they're very vulnerable I mean that they're very susceptible to any loss of oil. Susceptible as in 
We don't have that much oil, so targeting the oil tankers first should be my highest priority. And I think that this is one... Oh. Yes, this is one oil tanker, I seem to remember this, and a bunch of cargo. So we don't really care about anything but the oil tanker. Not that we don't really actually care, it's just that we are willing to go predominantly for the oil tanker. But then we'll see uh, what else is available after that, that goes down. Here we are, just <laughs> watching them come. They're helpless. <clears throat> so this little surfacing event, uh, let's pretend it didn't happen. <laughs> wasn't, wasn't like the smoothest little thing. Just, there's a little hiccup in the turn of events here, and what, by the way, what the hell? 139, what's going on here? Okay, these guys are about to reach their target, too, which scares me. I want to know what that... Okay, well, we just got to let them do their thing, unfortunately, because I, I, there's no way I can uh, monitor that. I have much more important things to do, and I'm afraid... Actually, I'm not sure what will happen if I just let the submarine do its thing. We might be completely okay. really want to get some rear shots in. I mean, not on the rear of them, but I mean, I want the ability to use my rear torpedoes as well. Okay, so let's lower this down to one, one at a time here. The range is not really that great on these, but that's fine. Let's go down to 1x. I know if I aim more or less just right in front of the ship, it should be a hit. They do seem like they're going pretty fast though. This is remarkable. Why are they going so fast? Alright, let's leave this much. Uh, I might be a little bit behind him. Yeah, it's definitely behind him. <coughs> That second one looks a little bit better. Maybe. We're really leading him by that third one. <laughs> Let's find out what happens when uh, this happens. Are we allowed to just get run over by... I have never experienced this, so this is kind of a... Oh, we're just barely going to miss. Nope, barely going to hit. Nope, barely going to miss. <laughs> I guess we are just able to, but this one looks good. Great. Waste of three torpedoes because of my amateur, amateurness, but that's fine. Uh, should be a much easier target now that she's supposedly going to be dead stopped in the water. Launch that before she gets completely out of yeah, it looks good. It's gonna hit her right in the tail. We can turn. All right, we actually want to keep going this way before we turn. That is a perfect torpedo. It was exactly in line with their axis when they turn. And she's still not dead. Oh gosh, she is. Fiery explosion. Just turn slightly, and I'll get a better shot. Looks good. Looks good. One more torpedo. Oh, that was perfect. Okay, so let's turn in. Prepare this one. Quite a few misses on the first one, but it's fine. I think we're a little bit closer, so I didn't aim that one as forward. And that looks like a good shot. Uh, 
way right here. Yeah. Move we'll behind that. Oof, nice. And now, although we're technically destroying our own ship by going underneath a sinking ship, we're not gonna pay attention to that. Pay no mind to that. We gotta get our rear turrets going, our rear tubes. Still strange to me that you don't have any reloads, but that's okay. And this is very satisfying, sinking some cargo ships, but yeah, so I know that the American submarines were able to launch, they would launch a huge spread and they could stick around and actually launch another spread. It wasn't like this, where, you know, we just don't have the option. Okay, so let's maybe one for this guy. Where's my sub? We're pretty far away. That gets the job done. That one looks good. That one looks very good. Another kill. Very good. And in a second, we want to keep driving at these guys. We have an one vulnerable one over there. Now we want to flip around and try to use our rear tubes on someone. Should we just go for this one who's like leaving the pack? I guess. Low on fuel, okay. Get to them eventually. So we can always disengage slightly. I mean, we don't have that many torpedoes left, but we can always disengage slightly, run them, and run them down later. gonna get away. I don't know why they're so fast. Are they not able to go, like what I think the Liberty ships can only go 11 knots. I know the Japanese warships were made to go faster than, were generally faster than the American ones, but the cargo ships too? Our faster ones are 17. The Victory, no Liberty, I can't remember which one's the faster one, but anyway this is gonna be almost surely a kill. Smaller one, but just make sure she really is a kill. <laughs> no, leave nothing to chance. Down to one X. Probably don't have to lead this one by very much. Yeah, it's gonna hit. Good shot. Got her. All right. Oh. Oh, so we have some confusion in the ranks. Let's see what happens if we can get back over in time to take advantage of that. We do have two torpedoes left, so we're we're hungry. We're still hungry. So far, so good, though. What do we have? One tanker and four cargo ships reported sunk. And again, we can always come to the surface. I wish we could see our range. I guess that would be a little unfair. I wish we could see our range. Okay, so pull off. Let's pull off actually to the east, which is going to be the, I assume, the safer direction. It's the direction we came from, right? So should be able to just track these guys just outside of weapons range, move forward, submerge again, wash, rinse, and repeat. Fantastic. That was great. Okay, so we'll do this. Let's see what happened with our bombers. Zero. Please don't. Oh my god. They all died. And they didn't get anything done. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. Okay. Hey, that's... <laughs> wow. Hooray. All right. We're going to come in here. We're going to have to repair now. We already knew that that was probably going to be the case, but I didn't think it would be this bad. All right. We're going to send some more attacks. We'll control them manually because I don't know what's going on with these flights. Um... And we'll have one more from the Saratoga, I believe. Yeah, well, I guess, yeah, it is worth it. Ah. But I'm still happy we're sinking other ships. That's, the oil in particular is making me very happy sinking that. But oh my, look at the time in the video. I guess I'm gonna call this one to a close. So we'll try to figure out what's going on with the aircraft in the next episode and put some more pressure on this battlecruiser fleet. A uh, really successful so far engagement of this task force, I mean this um, supply convoy. They went from 10 cargo ships and one oil tanker down to six cargo ships. Four cargo and one oil tanker sunk. So good numbers. We can, we can probably expect, I, I don't know actually if they'll do this, but we should at least guess that they might send a response, a reaction force so we'll clear out. We don't have any reason to stick around anyway. We don't have any any uh, spare torp torpedoes, and that's uh, just maybe it's a game balance thing. But that's one thing I would like. I mean, the Pacific Ocean uh, submarines, so both the Japanese and the Americans, were made for long deployment periods because the vastness of the Pacific Ocean means that you're going to have to spend a lot of time out there. One of the considerations then was also carry a lot of torpedoes so that if you happen to lose your torpedoes, you don't have to come back. Um, as quickly. So, eh. It's fine the way it is, but it's, uh, it, it could be better, maybe. <laughs> alright, alright, so let's pause here, let's call this video to a close for now. Thanks for watching, and take care.